Rome has forgotten her, but we haven't. Welcome to another Smite God History episode. Last time we covered the most broken god to ever enter Smite, Guan Yu. If you want to catch up on that one, then the link will be at the top of the description. One of the few gods to even be close to on the same level as Guan Yu will definitely be Bologna. Released in a different time to a different meta, we can't say for sure who had a larger impact on the game. What we can do though is look back at release Bologna and what she was truly capable of. She is also one of the very few gods that were literally viable in all 5 roles at launch. Naturally, she was a strong solo and jungle, but her great CC allowed her to support, and also Scourge plus the ridiculous passive allowed her to just build damage and our attack speed and play mid and ADC effectively as well. It was absolute nonsense. For those of you who weren't around for her release, this will be an interesting insight into Smite's past and might put new god releases into perspective. And for those of you who were around to bear witness to this monstrosity, this video can serve as a chilling reminder of the past misdeeds of Hyres. The PTS tryhards tried to warn us, but we didn't want to hear it, but on the 25th of February 2015, Bologna was released upon the unsuspecting player base of Smite. Probably the most broken thing about release Bologna would be Scourge. Nowadays, it's just a good ability, a solid disarm, mediocre damage and some decent sustain. On release, however, the disarm was up to 3 seconds, and she healed for 110 every 3 autos she made with the Scourge. Don't ask me why, just, just think about that for a minute. That means that with no lifesteal items whatsoever, she is healing for effectively 37 health every single auto attack, regardless of the actual damage she does with those auto attacks. And given that everyone at her release just built her with Frostbound Hammer, full attack speed and kin size because they could, she could literally out sustain a late game hunter that was critting her, it was fucking ridiculous. Even when you take the disarm entirely out of the equation, she could just walk as a hunter holding left click and win the fight. Add the fact that you can make them almost useless for 3 full seconds and, well, let's just say you didn't want to be a hunter main back then and leave it at that. Oh, and to add insult to injury, that bullshit heal she got from Scourge? Yeah, it also procced on towers, phoenixes and titans. So for the first 10 seconds or so of being in a tower or under a titan or something, she could tank it and basically not take damage because of how much she healed for. Oh, and also since it procced on Gold Fury and Fire Giant, as it does still does now, then she could solo those objectives at like 10 minutes, and as long as she just maxed Scourge and bought a crap ton of attack speed, she was absolutely fine and didn't take damage. Even worse was the fact that back in Season 2, the anti-healing mechanics hadn't been implemented yet against objectives, and also, since the heal from Scourge classed as an ability heal and not standard lifesteal, it wasn't reduced by the lifesteal reduction against objectives either. It was like Berserker Shield from recently, but with the OP knob turned up to 200%. Oh, and as it does now, it would disarm jungle camps and minions for 3 seconds as well as gods, so you took even less damage. While it could be mostly attributed to Heavy Hammer, the tier 2 of Frostbound Hammer which had the slow passive that Frostbound has now on a tier 2 item back then, Bologna, as far as I could tell, is the only god that, got, that could get a quadra kill at level 1 with just 1500 gold at her disposal. If you want to see the full clip of this, then I will link it in the description somewhere. Bludgeon is often a hot point of contention when discussing Bologna, even nowadays, you get people complaining it gives her wave clear that it's too powerful, or that it hits too hard on a too short cooldown. At release though, Thor wishes his hammer was this good. This ability alone formed the Soviet Union of solo lane back in the day, and by that I mean it was literally just Bologna vs Osiris, hammer vs sickle, all day every day. So when combining the spin and slam damage for this ability, it already has 460 base plus 85% scaling, more than basically any physical non-ultimate in the game, especially back in Season 2. Add the fact that it increased by 30% back then per god hit, and it will literally do more than every assassin ultimate in the game, and even more than some mage ultimates, simply by hitting 2 or 3 people with the spin in a fight. Even hitting 1 single person bumps the damage up to 553 plus 103% scaling, increasing incrementally up to 925 base and 175% physical scaling when hitting 5 targets with the spin. Given Bologna was already built heavily damage oriented on her release, this was sitting for easily over 1k and it was on a 10 second cooldown. We're nearing Guan 3 territory at this point. And of course, she still had the cleave auto attacks as she does now, but don't you worry, Lores found a way to make those even more broken than they are right now. You see, instead of life stealing for only 33% of normal values as it does now and as it should, you healed for 100% of your life steal on every target you hit. Why didn't they just design it like normal people? Because that would make too much sense. In her very early days, this even matched out the absolutely broken sustain provided by Scourge because people would just build dev gloves, full attack speed, and then just cleave the wave with the hammer and heal for just like basically their entire health bar from one wave. Given she would heal for something like 50 every auto attack, she could group up a wave of 6 and heal for 300 health every single swing. You think Berserker Shield is OP? Mix me with that shit. Check out Bologna and tell me if you still want to complain. But we're not even close to done with dissecting this rat disguised as a woman. Shield Bash, you know that pretty OP ability that counters Hunters? Yeah, that shit slowed for 30% for 2 seconds, with even just one point in the ability at, at release. 
So you could basically skip this entirely and still get the full CC and block stack benefit. While leveling the rest of your stupid shit and just leave this at rank 1, hit them with it and then you get 2 full seconds of 30% slow where the enemy can barely move and you can either hit them for 600 damage with bludgeon or just smack them up with auto attacks from scourge. Both likely resulting in a free kill on a squishy target. Oh and also, she got block stacks off of hitting minions with this, so she could literally just dash at an enemy minion wave and instantly win a boxing match because she got 3 free block stacks for free. So maybe the enemy is Mercury or Kukulkan or has a wing blade and they can immune your slows. No problem, Harris have got you covered. Blona's passive at release was the same as it is now, aside from a few minor number tweaks, namely that she had 6% movement speed per stack, capping out at 30% speed just on a passive. That's over 1.5 sets of boots just for free out of thin air. Oh, and she also got 25 protections when it was fully stacked, which is a little more than present day and still very broken, but it was overshadowed by the fact that she had such ridiculous movement speed on this passive. Just think about that for a second. 25 protections and 30% movement speed before she buys any items, uses any abilities, even a level 1. How do you compete with that in a laning phase boxing match? The bullshit passive added on top of her stupid sustain, extra range autos and block stacks kinda made her hit a critical mass where any auto attack based character could literally not fight her whatsoever. As for her ultimate, this has largely gone unchanged actually. That doesn't mean it wasn't and still isn't broken as hell, just that high res haven't nerfed it as much as they have her other busted abilities. The main issue I had with this ability back in the day was that it scaled all the way down to a 55 second cooldown with no CDR. Yeah, for some reason they decided one of the most powerful warrior ults in the game needed to have a close to half the cooldown that everyone else has all had. Build full CDR and this ability was literally up every 33 seconds, meaning that in a lot of extended late game engagements she could use this twice per fight. Even one use of this had a huge impact on a team fight. twice was just fucking absurd. You could pretty much use it to kill someone in solo lane, start rotating to duo lane, and then it'd be back up by the time you got there. It was unbelievably broken. At least release Guanalt had a sensible cooldown, even if it was statistically more broken than this. Oh, and the aura of power and defense as it gives lasted longer back then as well, just to add a cherry on top for this busted ultimate. Anyway, naturally some nerfs were on the table for our old friend here. So much so that to this day, Bologna is still being nerfed, and she has received only a couple of tiny buffs over the course of three years, most of which came along with nerfs in other areas of her kit, so they weren't really buffs. In the first patch after she released, the lifesteal from the hammer was fixed, thank god. The heal on the Scourge was annihilated down to 50 instead of 110. The fact that 50 is still strong today just shows how absolutely busted this was at release when it was 110. The passive was also heavily nerfed in three different aspects, knocking down the duration you had the stacks for, drastically reducing the movement speed down to half of what it was at release, and also nerfing the protections a little bit too. They also changed the interaction with the hammer cleave auto attacks. On release she would gain a stack for every target she hits with the cleave, so she could basically stack this passive up in one auto attack on a group to a minion wave. Naturally, this was broken as fuck and so it was changed down the line as well. The shield slow was changed to scale up, so there was actually a benefit to leveling the ability instead of just getting most of the benefits just at rank 1. Also, the gaining block stacks off of minions you hit as well was changed, so you can no longer just dash straight into a wave and fuck up any auto attack character in existence. Oh, and most importantly of all... A lot of smaller but still significant nerfs followed, still failing to bring Bologna out of the meta really. Honestly, to this day, I can't think of a single time when Bologna has really been bad. Her absolute lowest point was just where she was balanced, and she's been out for three years, just think about that for a minute. So that's Bologna. She had an interesting journey, to say the least. While I wouldn't say she compares to release Guan, she has certainly left her mark on the game, and probably on a lot of players' walls when they threw their keyboard across the room after getting hit by bludgeon. <laughs> that's not to say I think she's poorly designed or is unfun. She's certainly one of my favourite gods and I'm glad they didn't rework her or butcher her kit entirely. It took them longer than everyone hoped, but they eventually gave her enough nerfs to bring her down from top tier while still leaving the fun parts of her kit intact, so props to high res or Titan on that one. Anyway, as always, if you did enjoy this video, then a like is greatly appreciated. It really helps the channel out so much and lets me know you want to see more of this type of video. Speaking of, leave a comment with which god you want me to cover next in this series. I'm feeling Ratatoska, but I'm open to community suggestions. I don't like to mention this at the end of every video, but it's been a while since I did. I do have a community discord server for any of you who are interested in looking for people to play with or just discuss the game with, chat and hang out and stuff. I hang around the server as well from time to time and if you have any questions about me or about the channel, that's the best way to reach me. But other than that, have a great day and until next time, peace out nerds.